everyone, it is Jane with Battle River Homesteaders. It is October 21st, 2021, I think. Um, I am in our entranceway because I do not want to call it our dog room anymore. Um, we've kicked our dogs outside. We are having coyote issues, so Chevy and dog now live outside all the time. Tiny's with the goats. Um... It's been a hot minute since I've done any kind of video, so I thought I would just take you along my day and what we have planned. It's officially about 10.30 in the morning. I've just been cleaning up the kitchen, doing some laundry, um, just inside stuff, which is really boring, so I'm not going to video it. <laughs> but when we head outside, I'll take you along with that. Um, I think for my day, I'm going to cut up some wood pellets. Our chainsaw is still done, so I'm very limited to what I can cut. However, having no chainsaw make, forces me to actually cut up the wood pellets, which makes the yard look junky and needs done. So it's working. Um, I also was grabbing some firewood this morning and realized we're almost out, so I need to do that anyways. Um, and I bought four new Rexes, my breeding four. They're all those, so everything else I have is not what I want, not what, I, not what I'm looking for, so they're going into the freezer. Um, and I gotta move rabbits around, show you the goats. Ooh, I think I might harvest the garden too. We have pumpkins and carrots still in there, so I'm gonna maybe take them out tonight. Anyways, so yeah, we'll just take you along. This video has no rhyme or reason for it. We're just gonna go along our day. So we're gonna upgrade our rabbit hatches a little bit. Actually, it's not really an upgrade, but Josh got these kick butt door handles for our rabbit hatches because right now I grab on the wire to open them. So they were free for kick it to the curb. Uh, Josh found them after work. I think he was going to the bank or secondhand store. I don't know. Anyways, I got a whole box here. So maybe I will call and see what his thought is for how to put them on. Um, but maybe I'll install them today too, because it kind of sucks trying to open the hutches right now. We also thought that we had some pretty kick-ass fancy hutches, and then I went and picked up my does and seen what she had, and Josh and I were kind of just blown away. Um, but I like my hutches because they let the sun in. They, you know, so, but I don't know, maybe our, we have to make, we're going to keep 12 does all together and at least two bucks one being a silver fox and one being a rex i'm hoping to actually keep two rexes but i think we need to build another hutch um i'm gonna let josh do it because i'm just i'm not talented in that department we learned that with my pig feeders so yeah we're just gonna let josh do it and i will just cut up pellets and all the free wood we have to make it easier for him, so that will be my part, but. Okay, we've just finally made it outside to start chores. It's about 11 a.m. It's beautiful out here. We should be enjoying this weather, not inside. Um, my little helpers are behind me, so I'm gonna let the dogs loose. Right now, though. Ah, um, we are just having to feed my Miss Dottie, she's a mini pig, a pot belly pig. And we are heading to feed Molly, who is an Abwasha pig. So let's go do that. So. Miss Dottie and Holly live in our old chicken coop because we got rid of all of our chickens for the winter. So they live back here. Um, Josh made them a little crate shoved full of straw. Let me show you in it. Shoved full of straw. Um, the only issue is Miss Dottie and Holly. Ouch. Get out of here. Hi, baby. You are. Do you see Miss Dottie and Holly anywhere? No. The only issue is, is they can get out of this pen. They come and go as they please. Josh and I plan on fixing it. Um, we just haven't started yet. So Miss Dottie and Holly are fed. So I'm just going to open their gate. 
and they will they'll come when they're ready we are very much learning <laughs> and then just for right now wait no leave that open so holly and miss dotty can go back in leave it open please um and then for right now in our old um duck pen we have tiny and our goats <laughs> a couple of our goats um for now right now this will be our buck pen all winter um we're just waiting for we'll leave the buck we have bucky in there i don't know if you can see him in with roxy wherever she went and they'll stay in there for a couple months, few months, so we can make sure they get bred to hopefully have babies. And then we have our rabbit tree going on over here that I'm hoping we can get uh, winterproof this weekend. But for today, I'm going to move rabbits around so we have our silver foxes in one, my rexes will go in one. And then um, we're gonna have two pet rabbits to sell just to kind of hopefully recover some feed. We'll go in this one. But today I need to, I just literally just cleaned their pens on Sunday. Like rabbits poop so quick so much. Um, I've still lost Holly and Miss Dottie. Normally they cup. So we'll go check in with the other mini pigs and see. Um, and then we'll have this as just our pet thing. But we will see. We'll see how today goes. All right. I found Dottie, or Miss Dottie and Holly. They are in the barn with Wilbur. Which I mean, as long as they don't get in his pen isn't an issue. Um... Because, well, obviously. But my pile of pellets has gone down a lot. Um, come on, guys! Um, so I'm just going to go and grab Wilbur's food and feed him. I'll feed the cats while I'm over there. I'm gonna grab. Pardon me? Okay. Um, and then I'm going to feed the cats while I'm over there. I'm going to feed Wilbur while I'm over there. And I'm going to bring out Tiny's feed. Yeah, Tiny's. Um, we have learned that Tiny is food aggressive. So when I feed Tiny, I also have to find a tie for him. Um, I'm going to bring him out of the cage and tie him up just outside of the goat pen. Um, because if the other goats come near his food, he gets angry with them. And I don't know how to fix that. I need to do some research. But we just, just experienced it yesterday. So it's not like this has been going on forever. But this is what I have to do now. Because I don't want to, me personally, be in between him getting angry with the goats. Because he's a big dog. And I'm... I'm not a small, small person, but I'm not a big person. And if I got bit or something, I have no way for someone to come help me. So that is what we're going to do. So right now I have some leftover beef that we didn't get put away. Um, and then I have my water and I got sunflower seeds to give to the rabbits because it's supposed to help with um, deworming them naturally. I'm trying really, really hard to do natural um, everything that's just the way we're going however if needed we are not against medicine because healthy animals are all that matters um, doesn't matter how they get healthy as long as they are healthy so I'm not against anything that's not natural or organic however that's the way I'm trying to go but if needed obviously like we go to the vet we get vaccines we go you know and then here's Wilbur's stuff um, this is beet pulp it is not not ground beef it is beet pulp He's got some goldfish in there and just a bunch of shoot. So, and then I'm going to grab. I really need a quad going because I really get my steps in in the morning. Um, and then I'm going to grab tinies. I think I'll take Chevy and Dog normally come in to eat because they're not just need to be outside. But I think I'll grab their feed and give it to Tiny. Grab Wilbur's feed. I wonder if I could put that all on the rabbits. 
I don't know. I don't know how to carry this all. I don't want to put it outside, however, or else my cats will make everything a mess. So. All right. So we're back to. I want that focus. There we go. All right. We're over at the garden in my isolation cages, I guess. I put them out here this morning and then I'll put them back over in shelter tonight. But there's my two newest Rexes. I guess four newest Rexes. And we're just kind of letting them eat the green stuff that's still left in the garden. I don't want them to get out. All right, I can't do this with holding the camera. Hold on. I am heading over to the barn. We have it fenced off. Da, 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 da. We have it fenced off so the last two cows and horses and llama can't get to our goat hay. And then we fence goat hay to the goats twice a day and to the pigs. I left my... Hi guys, you need some food? Um, I left my food over there, but I think Josh didn't tell me, but I think he actually put Miss Dottie and Holly in here, unless they push somehow, but there's hay right here for them to eat, so I assume Josh threw them in here, must have come in here this morning, anyways, there's Wilbur, Wilbur, I have your food, one second, and then over here, we have goats, and Josh made their nifty mineral holder over there which they've been loving, so I'm pretty pumped. There's, well shit, that's an issue. She cannot be in there. Hi. Poop, all right. Um, he is intact, she is too little to be bred, so I'm going to jump over that fence and throw her back to where she should be. I confirmed Josh locked them in here. However, I don't think he realized that Holly could get in there. So I'm going in. To chase Miss Dottie and Holly out, and I'll put them in their pen. So, yeah, Miss Dottie, you need to go in your pen. Come on, Holly. Come on, Holly. Out. Joseph, can you move, please? And they're out. So, got them out. And we're just gonna wait patiently for them to go back in to their own pen. I don't think they can get into the barn, but we will see. So now, woo, I've made it to the rabbits. We will do, um, we will do the goats because they still have hay and we'll water them tonight when Josh gets home. Um, but I'm going to water all my rabbits right now. So, once I have finished um, watering everyone, I then, every three, four days, fill up their feeders because they're empty. Some are full. So I just go through and I top them all up. So, 
Now that all my does in this side um, are all watered and fed, I'm going to go find a tie for Tiny and we're going to tie him up. We'll grab his feed um, and see how that goes. I'm kind of, I don't really know how to deal with this um, because he could potential potential he could potentially um really hurt our goats over food envy and it was literally we are just feeding them we fed the goats their hay and figured that good they're okay then we will feed tiny and um hold on sweetie and female doe came over roxy and tiny went at her so that's not okay um but he loves them otherwise unless there's food involved so this for right now is the best that i can come up with Ooh, and an update i can lock back up my pig pen because let's turn you they're back in All right, last and final, bucks. They're, I'm poking my foot. They are in my greenhouse, as you've seen, because might as well make it work for winter and fall, or winter and summer. So we are going to get them fed. And there, morning chores are done. Thanks for following our journey. See you next time.